Now the part that I'm sure you've all been waiting for, how do we calculate our MAS? Well, we need to do some sort of fitness test. Now, uh, there are many tests out there that you can do. Some will, once you've got your final score, you can put that into an equation or a formula and then that spits out your MAS score. But for a lot of those, like say, like a yo-yo test or there are some other shuttle-based tests out there that you can do, uh, they're not always super accurate just because in those tests, there is almost like a skill component to it because you're changing direction, you're accelerating, decelerating. There's a lot of variables in it. So there can be a little bit more error with those uh, sort of tests. But an alternative to that is a distance-based time trial. Uh, and that gives us everything we need because we've got our set distance, which is our meters. And then once we finish it, we get a time. We can convert that to seconds. And then we've got our seconds. Your MAS is measured in meters per second. So, uh, for example, I hope this doesn't bring up any uh, scary memories for anyone out there, but we're going to run a two kilometer time trial. And we absolutely fly through. We dominate the field. We finish in first, six minutes and 15 seconds. Very good time there. Now, we've already got our meters. This is 2,000, 2,000 meters for our two kilometer time trial. And then we convert our six minutes 15 into seconds. 375 seconds. Now, all we need to do is take our 2,000 meters, divide that by our 375 seconds, and we get our MAS, in this case, 5.33 meters per second. Easy as that. Now, using these time trials, they're actually pretty accurate um, compared to, say, a lab-based test um, for working out our MAS scores. So, got a lot of confidence with these time trials that we can go out and get an accurate MAS score. There are, however, a couple of things um, we need to be mindful of. The first is the duration of the test. Now, the test needs to go for about six to eight minutes. That'll give us um, a good gauge of our aerobic fitness, make sure that cardiovascular system is working pretty hard. Now, I would suggest for some people who are pretty fit, um, have been running for a while, that a two kilometer time trial would be good for them. But if you're someone who's new to running, then um, to make sure you're still in that six to eight minute mark, um, I'd suggest doing a 1.2 or a 1.6 uh, kilometer time trial. Now you can go to say your local athletics track, 400 meter track and do three, between either three or four laps, the track being 400 meters, or you can use say like your smartwatch Garmin, something like that um, to just measure your distance. The only thing I would suggest with that is make sure you're doing it on a flat track. Um, so I'll, I'll give you permission to be a flat track bully just this once, but say an athletics track or um, a sporting field somewhere. Um, because if you just go step out the door and then start running around your house or around the streets and you're going up and down hills, which a lot of them are going to be, you're not gonna get an accurate score. So it needs to be on something flat. And it should go without saying as well that the time trial needs to be max effort. So you should be pretty gassed by the end of it, um, if you wanna get an accurate score. Because if you're not going you know, max effort, then using your MAS for your intervals, and then you're not gonna be training hard enough um, in, in your interval sessions, so. All right, so we've got our MAS score. Now we can go out and hit the track, start doing some running. Although, today it's uh, absolutely pissing down here in Melbourne, so I probably wouldn't um, be running today, but maybe, maybe tomorrow, um, anyway. We actually hit the field about a year ago and made a video on how to set up an MAS session. Now, I would strongly encourage you to go watch this because Rob reckons he suffered from heat stroke that day. So, a um, bit dramatic, I thought, but it will at least give him some respite that someone's gone out of their way, um, taking out some time from their day to go watch that video. So, check out that video as well. I'll pop it up here somewhere. So, let's go through an example. There's a little bit of maths involved. So try and stick with me, otherwise you can find plenty of MAS calculators online. Now I mentioned before, we wanna be at or above that MAS, so for this example, we're gonna go with 120%. Now using our MAS from before, 5.33, we need to multiply this by 1.2. This gives us 6.4 meters per second, so that's 120%. Now we're gonna do a short interval session each of our reps are gonna go for 15 seconds. So all we need to do is take that 6.4, multiply by 15, and that gives us 
96, and that's our distance that we need to run on each rep, 96 meters. It is a little bit confusing at the start, but we'll go through another example. Um, hopefully help you wrap your head around it. So let's go through a, another example now. We're gonna do a long distance one. Now, long distance uh, MAS, you won't necessarily go at or above that 100% because it's not sustainable. So what we're gonna do um, for this one, we're gonna go a three minute effort at 90% of our MAS. So what we need to do is multiply that 5.33 by 0 0.9. That gives us 90% and that gives us 4.8. Now we need to take that 4.8, multiply by 180, 180 seconds, because that's our, our three minute effort. And that works out to be 863. So in three minutes, we need to try and make 863 meters. I hope that makes sense. Uh, if not, pop a little comment in the comments below or a question, um, or you can send us a message on, on Instagram. Um, but to do that, you can just go um, to your ATS track, measure it out, 400 meter track, um, or alternatively use your, your smartwatch that, that tracks, your, tracks your running. Now, ultimately where you start with your MAS training will depend on uh, what your goals are and where your current fitness levels are at. So generally speaking, um, the less fit you are, you'll um, find the longer intervals to be a bit more beneficial. Um, whereas if you're a bit more an advanced runner, um, you might find that the shorter intervals working above that 100% um, of your MAS um, will be good for you. Now we have a few uh, blogs and other YouTube videos uh, up on some aerobic training guidelines. I'll pop them uh, in the little video description below so you can check them out as well. Now, if you have any questions, uh, a bit confused with anything I just mentioned, uh, or even want a running program for yourself, please reach out, uh, send us a message, comment down below. Um, we'd love to help out uh, in any way that we can. As always, thank you uh, for tuning in. But if you haven't already, please uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. It means the world to us if you can do that. And we're gonna have a lot of uh, exciting content coming up on YouTube uh, and Instagram as well. Until then, see you next time. Uh, anyway, as an example,